it's Miranda from Diamond Painting the Besties. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoy yourself and you might consider subscribing. Well, I have something special. It's not a diamond painting. It's not diamond painting accessories. It's nothing to do with diamond painting, but it is still art and it's still licensed art. So that is A-OK -okay in my book. So I have three different artists that I want to showcase for you guys tonight. So the first um, is from, God, I hope I say this right, is from a website called Toboland. I'm going to cover up my address just so you guys can see right here. So Toboland right here. And how I found this site was I was on Bob Duquette's um, Instagram page and there was a link. So I wanted to check it out because currently I'm doing... The Night Garden by him, that uh, Distracted by Diamonds license, and I'm like totally loving it. He is like one of my favorite artists. So um, I was like, oh my God, I really wanna get some prints. So that's what this is, and so let's get into it. So I got three. I don't remember, because I didn't write them down, but I don't remember when I ordered this, but it was like last week, and let me tell you, it was quick. Quick, quick, quick. Very quick. Um, make sure I got everything out of this because this is like really weird how it's boxed and I just want to make sure oh because it's got a piece of cardboard in it to keep it sturdy but I just want to make sure that I got all my goodies out so the first thing um, let me see all right so this one Oh, what is this? Let, hold on. Let me see. How do I get this open? Because there's a little card in here. So in the back of this one, and I forgot the name of this one. I'm going to have to, oh, it's on the back. Good. Save me. All right. So first we have um, a little business card. It says, The Art of Bob Duquette. And then it has the... Uh, the address and everything, but look at it. It's like a little pinup. She's cute. I like her. All right, so the first one says, Welcome to Tobo Land. And then it says, the, the um, I'm going to keep that out. The Art of Bob Duquette. This one was made in 2018. The name of it is Requiem. And it, the original was a oil on canvas and it was a 20 by 24. So I got the, um, the print of it. And I thought this was really cool. I really liked how it was in a horse drawn, you know, well, ostrich drawn carriage with the, um, ah, ah. Uh, the, the plague doctors, thank you. The plague doctors in front. Oh, this glare is horrible. I'm sorry, guys. There, you've got the plague doctors right here. And then, I don't know if this is Dr. Death or whomever in the carriage. And it's got a little skull and the full moon. And I just really, really liked it. <clears throat> All right, what's in here? So this next one... There's something else in here. Let me see. Oh, all right. It says, thank you for visiting Toboland Art of Bob Duquette. Y'all come back real soon. Thank you kindly for your order and signed on the back. So that's exciting right there. Well, anyway... I love um, Edgar Allan Poe, and that is his, Bob's uh, version of him, and I love it. So, and then it's, uh, you know, printed with his name at the bottom. I'm really sorry, guys, about that, this glare. Oh, I don't want to turn off my light. Let me see if I turn this off if we better. Yes, here we go. That's much better. Isn't that awesome? I just like, I love it with his big eyes and everything. So I'm gonna put this back in there. And I just got like little five by sevens. Well, Requiem is a little different. 
Um, the quality of this print is really on some sturdy paper, so I really like that too. <clears throat> now the last one, this was done back in back in 2016 uh, or 2000, but the original was 2017 acrylic on canvas and it was 11 by 14. And this is of the Grady Twins. And for those of you who know, um, it's from, the Grady Twins are from Stephen King's The Shining. So I really like them. So I got that one too. They're kind of creepy, but I like them. See, I'm the type of person, I like horror movies and I respect them and I love everything that goes into them. But if I can sit through, if I cannot sit through one, like I have to be in one of those moods where like, oh yeah, that's cool. I want to like crap my pants tonight or have a, you know, a heart attack while I'm watching it. Every so often I like to do that. But um, I don't know, The Shining's not really that scary more suspenseful all right <clears throat> moving on i'm gonna save this one for last moving on and i just got this today so let me um this is another item from emmy boz i really liked my other stuff that i got from her and it's like i told you on her website how she does it is it stuff goes up for auction and then you can bid on it. And normally I'm not, her, those aren't really crazy though. So I don't mind it. So packaging is great. It comes in the, you know, the outside one. And then it'll come, comes taped up in this uh, priority mailbox. So, and then taped really well to make sure nothing happens. So I do really, really appreciate that. Now, she does have an Etsy page and um, an Instagram, and I will link, I'll link all the information for everything below, so you guys can go check this out. Let's see if I can, I just ordered this, so I should remember. So, we have our paper, nice packaging paper. Let me get this out of the way. Now this is awesome because it came in a frame already. So I was really, really excited about that. It's a hand painted frame. Now, how cool is this? I'm a huge movie buff. I love my movies. So what other, what else would be better than your very own Pulp Fiction with John Travolta and Uma Thurman in one of the most iconic dance scene from Pulp Fiction movies by Quentin Tarantino. I think she does, Emmy did an amazing job with this and it comes in a frame, like check this out. It's like hand, I think this is hand paint, yes, yeah, hand painted. So it's like a splatter type paint. I can just put this out there like this or I can, um, there's a hook right here where I can hang it up. I'll probably just, I think I'm just gonna leave it out. It says, I love being weird with you. I love this, great job. I'm just, I think that I paid like $30 for this. So not bad at all. Well, well worth it. And it's signed and it's got a cover on it. So, and it's got the, the good backs that has the little uh, slide they slide in and out and not the little tabs you have to pull back. So I was super, super excited about this. I think that her color schemes are great. So I'm kind of like in this, you know, horror phase, just different. I really have been into her stuff. And I think I've said before that I originally heard of her from <clears throat> watching Mrs. Coffee. Because she has gotten a few things. All right. Last but not least, yes, we have another box from Curtis Reykjavik. Curtis um, has a website, also has an Instagram and, and a Facebook group, and I will put them all in the description. And he announces when he's going to do drops. He actually just had a drop this past weekend where I was able to get one. There were only five available, but um, I was able to get one custom one of his custom feels 
So um, basically we get to choose. So he does them in like five colors, I think. So you get to pick what color you want and you get to pick the theme you want. So what I did is I picked blue and I basically kind of told him, you know, cause like I've said millions of times before, Bella is, you know, a competitive swimmer. So I wanted some sort of nautical theme, like sea. You know, I told him, you know, we like narwhals. So, but basically I want to leave it up to him because I'm just so excited. Well, anyway, he had, this is from his drop prior. And I was able to get a few, um, some, he brought some retired ones back. So I was really excited about that. So we have right here, we always get our little um, Wicked Damsel sticker and the little postcard. And there's another sticker under here. Curtis is so nice. His husband, Michael, is so nice. And I forgot her name, but she's got a little, a little creature on her. Look how pretty she is. A cute little creature. So I'm excited because his stickers are great. These stickers are like four inches tall. They're made out of really, you know, really great quality. They're shiny. They're really pretty. I never stick them on anything, though. I keep them because I don't want anything to happen to them. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I don't even know what her name is, but this must have been the one that was exclusive for this drop. Look at her. I need to find out what, I will find out what her name is and then I will um, hopefully be able to edit it and put it in here. And if I can't, I'm gonna put it down in the description, but I'll figure out how I can put her name in here. So the other one I got, this one is a retired one and it's his version of Little Bo Peep. And I just, one, I don't have a for like one that goes horizontal, but I just really like the colors. They seem like more watercolory and everything. And I just, I like the little sheep and her hair and stuff. I cannot get over this. She is just, look at the toucan. Just look at the colors, you guys. Oh my God, she's breathtaking. Her eyes have the blue and the orange. I'm like literally speechless. So um, he did do new um, Wednesday and Morticia's. So before Wednesday got taken out, you know, was no longer going to be available. I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get when the, the first Wednesday. And I really liked her. And then look, she's got a little Pugsley voodoo doll. And then, um, Was it Thing or Han? I forgot what the Han's name is. Is it Thing? I can't remember. If you guys know, put it down, but I love her too. And he, these are just high quality paper. Um, I can't say enough good things about the customer service, the attention to detail, the care, the beautiful artwork, um, everything that, you know, his business is about and his brand is about and I'm struggling. I will do this later because I'm just struggling. All right, the last print I got was the very first Catwoman he did. And look at her, I love Siamese, but I just love her. She's so pretty. And she was also one of the retired ones that he brought back for the event. Now, this is, was my, like, I had the eye on, Eye on the prize for this one. There were only 12 of these, I believe. And I do have the um, Day of the Dead one. I want to say her name's Luna. I can't remember. But he had the resin on wood. Looks wrapped up in tissue paper and in a thick plastic bag. So I was able to get the new Morticia. And these are hand embellished. Look at her. It's probably going to be glare. But anyway, he does this. He hand embellishes everything. The sparkly glitter, like it's in her earrings and her necklace and her little weed she's holding. Got her big chair, clouds. And then he coats it with resin. It is so shiny and beautiful. And it's also signed. So I just... 
I'm never disappointed. I'm always just taken away by how beautiful everything is. Like, just look at her. Look at Morticia. So this is the new, the new Morticia. So I just cannot look, look at this one again. I cannot get over her. And she is only available for that weekend. So that was the extra damsel that we got in our, uh, as a free gift. I need to find her name out. She's stunning. Well, if you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. Um, oh, look at this, you guys. Oh my God. On the back, 10 of 12. So I must've just gotten mine in the nick of time or that's just how he labeled it. But that always makes me feel like really awesome that I have a limited item it makes me feel like I have something exclusive and gorgeous because it's just so, so beautiful. All right, you guys. So we have Morticia. We've got our retired cat lady. The original Wednesday. And then Little Bo Peep. So I will link all Curtis's information below. You guys have got to follow him. There are big things coming his way. He's always got something up his sleeve and he has other things, keychains, pins, bags, like wristlets. I have um, um, <clears throat> Miss Argentina from Beetlejuice. I have her in a makeup bag. It's stunning. I really need to get on with it and get more frames so I can get my Wicked Damsels up on the wall. All right, well, just real quick, I hope you guys have a fabulous night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.